Hello everyone and welcome all of you back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. I have for you today a shopping haul. So everything that I can find, I'm gonna link it down below so it'll be easier for you in case you wanna purchase it. And also I have quite a few requests asking me to show you how do I style my clothes. So I thought I'm gonna actually not just show you the item that I have purchased, but I'm actually gonna try it on and I'm gonna show you with my bag and the shoes that I style it. So Which the first item, it's one of my most favorite actually, it's this top. It's from Zara and it costs $25.95. I got it in a size small, but you can see it's kind of like quite big and square. We also love how it looks with like blue denim cutoffs because the edges here, it kind of like balances out like the prettiness of these with like the casualness of that. I pair it with like my Isabel Moran suede boots. And then the bag that I chose is the Celine Nano because this bag, I think it's very masculine it's very casual it's very like square so here on the side i think it looks like very casual perfect for every day i i am obsessed with the dior tribal earrings but my ears are not pierced and i'm not gonna pierce them we're not gonna go into that now so when i saw that zara has this dress with those tribal earring inspired details i was like this needs to be mine i added this black bra underneath that it has like kind of like quite a bit of a detail and the big thick straps, this is from Oisha quite a few years back, with the black small back, which this is my Givenchy walk, which I always wear it uh, like that. I never really use the strap anymore. And then with my flat Balenciaga thong sandals, because I think it needs to have like a flat sandal, because if you add like a high heel here, you will make it very nice for like a dinner date or something like that. But for now, I've just been wearing it during daytime like this and I'm really, really um, happy with the result. As I already have my Balenciaga flat thong sandals on, I'm going to show you the shirt that I got in Zara this past July. Now, the shirt in itself hasn't got really much to it. It's light blue denim, very soft, but it has these pearl details here at the pockets and here at the top. Then I thought... If I have it all buttoned up, I look very like, mm, I don't know, there's really nothing to the outfit. So I pair it with like a bralette in black lace. And so you can see a bit of that. And then I added a pair of shorts that it has a bit of like lace here at the bottom. A small back, so it makes a bit more elegant because if not, I think this shirt is super casual. And then very important, a red lipstick. Because then I think the red lipstick adds the touch of like, sexiness and elegant to the outfit. If not, I think this shirt can be pretty plain and boring. So this next top, it's actually from H&M and it cost me seven euros and I got it in a size medium. So I paired it too with like the blue denim cut off and then I changed the bra because as it hasn't got anything at the front, just two triangles I think was way too boring. So I thought I'll choose this bra from Oisha that it has these two extra straps so it kind of matches the straps that you have here from like the hems. And then as it has this frilly bottom, it really looked like a 90 from like La Perle. So I thought we need to break this off. So I added this YSL handbag because it has the gunmetal detail here. So it kind of breaks it off a bit. And then I think the back here distracts a bit from the fact that you have like a transparent, completely transparent top. And then I paired it with the Isabel Moran suede boots too because i think like this is perfect for going out clubbing at night with like it's from zara trafala collection 25.95 in a size small because there's only small and medium and it's a bit baggy the mesh from the outside but it's fine because the actual slip it's a bit like you can see following your body shape so it doesn't make you look like all frumpy and horrible now the embroidery here it's beautiful it has all these like big flowers and then you have all these like lips going down and yes i'm gonna put on my sofa with my shoes thank you very good maria and then i have it with these boots because i think i need to make it like casual bohemian because this for me is like a casual everyday dress so i need to have flats on and, and then i pair it though with my valentino glam block because I think this dress is so, so Valentino. And with the rock studs in like gold and the embroidery, I think it makes like a perfect combination. This next dress, it's from Oisha and it was $22.95 at the sale. 
I really like the fact that it has like this uh, like sleeve detail here, which first I thought it would be very uncomfortable, but it's actually very comfy. I think it makes it very sexy, but cover up, like perfect for daytime. It has this detail here of the two bows, so you can make the dress like higher or lower, depending on how you like it. And I paired it with a, like a black lace bralette. You can see I live in black lace bras because you can see a bit here at the sides. Then I decided to pair it with my Balenciaga City because I think you need to have something here. Like I don't think it's going to look nice if I have a back hanging from my shoulder. And I like the fact that both my shoulders are kind of like, you know, like free. So you can see all the details from the dress. Onto this skirt now. Yeah, you are not seeing double. I bought two of these skirts. Now, the story is because it was super cheap on the sale at Zara. It was just like six euros. And I couldn't choose if it was a small or extra small, the size that I needed. And there was quite a long queue at the changing room. So I thought, I'm just going to bought them and I try them at home. Then I tried them at home and realized the size extra small fits me nicer because the size is small. As it's actually a bit bigger here, the waist, it actually goes a bit lower. But as this is 100% viscose and I am obsessed with this print, like I really, really like this print. I thought after I wash it once or twice, this is going to go smaller and it's not gonna fit me so then I thought for six euros I'm just gonna keep this one extra and then for like once or twice you know I'm gonna wear it a bit big and then after I wash it it's gonna shrink and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because I cannot keep purchasing it because it's not on the stores anymore I think it's a very Isabel Moran skirt it has this very beautiful ruffle detail going down here in black and red leopard print you can see here, I pair it with like a plain white t-shirt. This is my favorite t-shirt by Mango and it has lots of holes. And it has this detail here at the back. Then I'm pairing it with my Balenciaga flat thong sandals and this YSL bag and I think it looks perfect. I have also paired it with like my Vans old school suede uh, trainers and my Celine nano luggage for days that I have been like out with my knees because this bag is perfect, it fits so much inside. Then also a third pair of shoes that I've been pairing with this skirt are these Aquazura Beverly Hills sandals which are super nice, very sexy, not really daytime, you know, like everyday casual looking style. So at night time I've been pairing the skirt with these shoes and then with this small bag, still keeping a t-shirt on the top so it makes it a bit kind of like tomboyish to like a very feminine ruffle skirt. Now this t-shirt it's from Topshop. I don't normally buy in Topshop because I think it's pretty expensive and I don't really like their clothing that much but I saw this t-shirt at the sale that it says Femme Forever and it was only 15 euros even though the only size that was left was the large but I thought mm, I think I can work this out somehow. So I paired it with this River Island silky, very kind of like tacky looking leopard print skirt to give it a bit of a contrast because this really looks like a pyjama top. Then I have this bag which is from Bimba Lola and really this is not a bag, this is kind of like a pouch which is the inset that I changed from back to back. But I like uh, having this handbag when I don't really know what handbag to wear or when I just want something really minimal that it has like gold details. Because these shoes that I have here are my Aquazura uh, Strappy Beverly Hills. So I think this outfit, it really looks like very sexy, put together, but still very casual. I think it's very me, which is kind of like a pretty skirt and a very tomboyish t-shirt, which it has the fun part that instead of tomboy, it says pen. But yeah, so really, really obsessed with this look. I'm very happy I found this t-shirt. And another t-shirt, this time from Brandy Melville. This is one size fits all, and it was uh, only 20 euros. I like that it says Paris because it's one of my favorite cities in the world. Also the classic combination of the two colors. I think it looks fantastic with like a light uh, blue denim skirt. This is the one that I got like four months ago from Zara. I'm afraid it's not available anymore with all these pearl details all over the front. And I think as it has all this much going on here, you need a very simple bag. That's why I chose my Bimba Lola pouch. But my shoes are my YSL Lulu Mules because I think they need to, you know, you need to add a bit of uh, sexiness because if not the t-shirt is like really super plain. This dress, it's from H&M. 
from the recycle collection, so it's lyocell, so it's very fresh, very airy, it dries very quickly, so it's perfect for summer, they have it in so many colors. Then I normally pair it with like a pouch, because this is kind of like just going to the shops, you know, like running some errands, and as the dress itself, it's kind of like plain and boring, it hasn't really got much to it, but it's cotton, so it's not very elegant neither. I decided to pair it with this black bra underneath that has the two straps here. So sometimes when you move, you can see like a bit of a strap here, or you can see a bit of a lace here at the side, and I think it adds a bit more like fun to the dress. Also, the straps here are velvet, so it adds a bit more like interesting part to your shoulders. And then the shoes that I choose to have with this dress are my buns, because sometimes you just want to have like a pair of trainers and a dress and you run to the shops and this dress for that have been so perfect. And let's face it, it wouldn't be a Maria Hall without a pair of like red blue denim, yeah? Um, I got them at the sale. They are the boyfriend uh, straight leg ones. I got them on my size, which are size 36. And they have the hole here and there. But I just literally like cut this, put them on the floor and just pull it out and have these two huge holes now here at the front. Now I know they are a bit not for everybody, like my mom has not seen them yet because she will have a fit. But I like the fact that you have the jeans but you don't have the jeans on. Also I got them at the sale for 12 euros so I thought it was the perfect opportunity to destroy a pair of jeans. And I really like the result, I have been wearing it quite a bit especially pairing them with this new top that it's from H&M. It's black velvet and I actually got it in a size medium because I want it to be a bit baggy because I didn't want a black velvet top to be tight because then it's a look that I don't like. So I am obsessed with this combination actually and black velvet is something that I have always liked so I'm very happy that now it's at the stores. And then I paired it with these three necklaces in gold because I think you need to add like a bit of gold to the black velvet. Then the bag that I choose is this Chloe Elsie, which I tuck the chain inside and I wear it like a big clutch, like this or down here. But I think this adds a bit of light to the outfit. If not, this outfit can be kind of like a bit boring. And then the shoes, the shoes, the shoes that I choose to wear with this are these YSL mules because you need to have a bit of baba boom because these jeans are completely destroyed. They are baggy, they are unflattering, so I think you need to have like a very nice handbag and a very nice pair of shoes to balance it and out. And here I am, roasting for my channel. Now, I am sweating so much now. This jumper, I just got it like last week, I am super obsessed with it. I'm still not gonna be able to wear this for like another two months, I believe. It's like a very classic cable knit, off-white, uh, I think it's polyester from Zara, $25.95. I got it in a size medium, even though they have a small because I think it looks nicer. And I think it looks super good with the jeans. Now, the way that I'm planning on wearing this come autumn is with like the jeans and then this back. And then maybe with like the Isabel Maran boots. Or if I want to be a bit more like stylish with like a pair of like uh, black suede pumps. One, it's from Zara. It's kind of like a very long dress. It does come with a black sleeve that you can buy separately. I'm gonna try to link both items down below. This is something I have only been using at night time. I have not used this during daytime, but I pair it with the Valentino having hanging it here low because I think it makes it more casual. I pair it with the blue denim underneath again and this black bra. So I think it's very important that you have like flats with this because I think if you wear high heels you're gonna get tangled up at the bottom so, and these are all the items I have to show you there are quite a bit I hope you enjoy this different format where I'm actually showing you how do I style them I hope you have a fantastic day don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe also if you have not so so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos and with all that being said bye bye guys and as I already have my Balenciaga flat,